Differential equation is an equation involving an unknown function and its derivatives. Or simply, differential equation is just an equation that has a slope in it. Okay? Slope. Kung may slope, meron tayong function. Okay? Example, f equals m d square x over dt square. This is the famous Newton's law of motion. Mas kilala yata natin siya as f equals ma. But in physics, we know that acceleration a is the uh, second derivative of position. This is the second derivative of position, d square x over dt square. Okay? Times the mass equals force. Ganon, no? So meaning, this uh, equation here is actually a differential equation. So Newton's law is a differential equation. Okay, meron tayong types. We have the ordinary differential equation or the ODE. ODE is an equation in which the unknown function depends on only one independent variable. Example, uh, second derivative of y with respect to x raised to 3 plus 4 times y times dy over dx raised to 4 minus xy equals 0. So the function, a known function, depends on only one independent variable x. Okay. The other type is partial differential equation or the PDE. PDE is an equation in which the unknown function depends on two or more independent variables. So multivariable na tayo dito. Pagdating sa partial differential equation. So example here is the par second partial. Uh, second uh, partial derivative of z with respect to t minus 3 times the second partial derivative of y with respect to t plus the second partial derivative of z with respect to u equals 0. Okay? So, ang basa dito is the second partial. Itong merong uh, uh, like this, no? Merong curl. Parang siyang letter D na may curl. So, parang ganyan, ganyan mo siya isulat. Kasi, the D, ito, is the derivative or Full derivative yan, ano? Full derivative. So, ang ginamit dito sa partial is D na merong uh, curl sa dulo. Yan. Ganito yan. So, ibig sabihin yan, partial. And multivariable ang usapan dito. Okay? So, two or more independent variables. Now, punta naman tayo dito sa order of the differential equation. The order of the differential equation is the order of the highest derivative appearing in the equation. So, madali lang itong ma-distinguish ma kung alin ba yung order ng differential equation. Hahanapin mo lang yung merong highest differential coefficient or highest derivative appearing in the equation kung ano ang kanyang uh, uh, derivative or kung ano yung kanyang, naka, let's say, second derivative, that's second order. Okay? Kung a third derivative, that's third order. So, hahanapin mo lang yung highest derivative in the equation. At siya yung magsasabi kung anong order ng differential equation meron. Okay? So, for the degree of the differential equation, medyo critical tayo dito, no? Pagdating sa degree naman. Degree of the differential equation is the power or the exponent, no? To which the highest order derivative is raised. So, ibig sabihin, once na nalaman mo na yung order, that is the highest derivative appearing in the equation, ano ba yung exponent or yung power? na nakarace yung highest derivative natin, highest order derivative natin. Then, siya yung degree of the differential equation. But here, meron pa dito, when the differential coefficients or the derivatives are free from radicals and fractions. So, ayan daw, meron daw free, of, free from radical and fractions. So, ayan, ibig sabihin, nakadapat yung mga differential coefficients natin or the derivatives are in the form of polynomial. When you say polynomial, uh, wala siyang negative, yung, uh, yung walang negative form o kaya wala rin namang fraction. So, in case na merong fraction sa differential coefficient natin, kailangan alisin mo muna yung mga radicals na yon or fractions. Okay? So, illustrate natin siya, natin siya by uh, meron tayo dito mga examples. Okay? So, ang task natin is to determine the order and degree of the differential equation. Let's say example number one. We have here the second derivative of y 
with respect to x raised to 3 plus 5 times y times dy over dx raised to 2 minus xy equals 0. So, ang task natin is to determine the order and degree. Okay? Sulat natin dito the order and dito naman ang degree. Okay? So, by looking at this differential equation, what is the order? Ang sabi nga natin, ang order is the highest uh, derivative appearing in the equation. So, alin ba yung merong highest derivative? Yes, so that's d square y over dx square. So, meaning, siya yung, siya yung magdi-dictate ng order of the differential equation. Okay? Since meron siya dito, y is differentiated twice. Dito naman, y is differentiated once lang. So, ibig sabihin, the order of the differential equation is 2. Order 2. Okay? So, how about the degree? Ang sabi, hanapin mo daw yung, uh, once na nakita mo na yung highest derivative, sa ano bang power or exponent siya in erase ito, or in erase itong uh, uh, highest derivative mo o highest differential coefficient mo. And in this case, ang uh, order natin is 2 since siya yung uh, merong highest uh, order derivative. Then titingnan mo ngayon yung kung sa ang power siya na erase. Okay, meron bang fractions? Kung meron fractions, kailangan gawin mo siyang hindi fraction muna. Or kung may radicals, kailangan mo alisin yung mga radicals. Okay, in this case, wala naman. So, we have here, the degree is 3. So, hanapin lang yung uh, highest derivative. That's the order, order 2. And uh, anong power ba ito na erased? So, in this case, 3 siya. So, degree 3. Okay, second example, we have here x to the fourth times the fourth derivative of y with respect to x plus quantity x minus 1 times the third, third derivative of y with respect to x equals cosine x. What is the order of the differential equation? So again, hanapin mo lang kung ano yung may maro, mayroong mataas na or pinakamataas na order ng differential coefficient. And in this case, Yes, so d4y or d raised to 4y over dx squared or the fourth derivative of y with respect to x. So the order of the differential equation is 4. Ito yan. No? This is the highest differential coefficient. Okay? So asan, nga, asan naman siya ngayon na erase? Anong power? The degree is 1. So ganun lang. Madali lang. Hanapin lang yung highest order, then kung anong erase yung power, at kung wala namang mga radicals or fraction, okay, good tayo dyan. And the degree is 1. Madali lang malaman. Okay, how about this one? We have here uh, the second derivative of S with respect to T raised to 4 minus uh, the first derivative of S with respect to T equals sine T plus cosine T. Okay, ang pag, uh, paghanap ng order, ang hanapin mo ulit yung highest derivative. So in this case, S is differentiated twice, mas mataas siya compared sa, D, sa DS over DT. So, that means the order of the differential equation is 2. So, ano ngayon yung degree? Kung saan naman in erase yung highest order derivative? So, in this case, the degree is 4. Yes, very easy. How about this one? Number 4, we have here the first derivative of Y raised to 4 thirds equals 2x minus y. So, dy over dx na raised to 4 thirds. So, hindi pa tayo pwedeng, uh... oh, sige, wait lang. Hanapin muna natin pala ang order because ang order is the highest order derivative appearing in the equation or differential equation. So, in this case, that's dy over dx. Wala nang iba. So, the order of the differential equation is 1. Walang pakialam itong power or fraction. No? Okay. So, ngayon, what is the degree of the differential equation? Ang sabi natin dapat free from radicals or fractions. O meron tayong fraction. So, kailangan mo muna siyang alisin. Paano mo maalis tong fraction na to? By multiplying or by uh, tawag dito, erase natin siya by say uh, 3. 
i-cube natin siya both sides. So, kapag na-cube mo na ito both sides, magka-cancel na yung 3 here. So, mag-sagot natin dito. Let's say, let's sulat ko na. We have a dy over dx uh, raised to 4 equals 2x minus y raised to 3. So, ibig sabihin that the degree of the differential equation is 4. Diba? That's 4 also. O, kagaya nung doon sa third. So, ganun lang. Okay? So, madali lang. Yes. Okay, another example, number 5. We have here sine x times the second derivative of y over uh, with respect to t raised to 3. Second derivative of y with respect to x, sorry, raised to 3. Minus e to the x times dy over dx raised to 6 equals xy. So, what is the order of the differential equation? So, meron 3 dyan, meron 6, pero hindi ka titingin dyan since yan yung mga exponent, the power na nirate yung differential coefficient. Ang ahanapin natin to determine the order of the differential equation is the highest order differential coefficient or the highest derivative. And in this case, ito, di ba? Yan, square yan. So, ibig sabihin, the y is differentiated twice. So, siya yung magdidictate ng order of the differential equation. So, we have here 2. That is the order of the differential equation. Now, kapag na-determine mo na kung sino yung uh, highest order differential, uh, highest derivative, okay, or differential coefficient, ano ba yung power na na-erase yung highest order derivative na yon? And in this case, 3. Hindi yung 6, ha? kasi dy over dx does 1 only. 1 lang yan eh. Hindi siya yung dictate Ang dictate is kung yung highest order derivative mo. Ano ba yung power? Free from radicals? Free from fractions? Yes. O, 3. Whole number yan. So, ibig sabihin, the degree of the, this differential equation is 3. Okay? Madali lang, no? So, next, number 6, we have here uh, x times the fourth derivative of uh, fourth derivative of y with respect to x plus 6y times the second derivative of y with respect to x minus uh, dy over dx raised to 7. Again, to find the degree or to find or to determine, determine the order of the uh, differential equation, find the highest order derivative. O, madali namang makita, di ba? Titigan mo lang, alam mo na kung alin dyan. So, pag natitigan mo na, uy, ayun, si number, yung may 4. So, ibig sabihin, the order of the differential equation is 4. O, saan ba siya na-erase yung highest derivative na ito? 1? Yes, it is 1. 1 ang answer. May fraction ba? Wala. Okay, so that is 1. Okay, number 7, we have here the second partial derivative of x with respect to t minus, the, minus 4 times the second partial derivative of y with respect to t plus the second partial derivative of z with respect to u. So, pag ganito, madali namang malaman kasi magkakatulad lang sila. Ang highest derivative na lahat sila ay 2. So, okay lang. Then, the order of the differential equation is 2. Saan ba siya erase? The degree is 1. Okay? What else? Uh, ito, number 8. We have here uh, the third partial derivative of x with respect to t plus 5 times the second partial derivative of y with respect to t raised to 4 equals t plus u. Okay? Alin ba yung highest ordered derivative dito? Yung merong 3. So, ibig sabihin, the order of the differential equation is 3. Okay? Then, the degree, saan ba siya in-erase? Doon, Saan ba in-raise tong uh, highest order derivative natin? Raise sa 1. O, so, ibig sabihin, the degree of the differential equation is 1. O, diba? Ang dali, dali lang. Okay, let's have uh, another example. Yung medyo may, may challenge naman. <laughs> may challenge. Lahat naman yan, okay. Okay, let's say we have here... Uh, Let's say uh, dy over dx. Square root of dy over dx is equal to, uh, let's say, the cube root of, let's say, uh, d square y over, over uh, dx square 
minus minus 5. Ganyan na lang. Let's see. Paano ba ito solve? Let's uh, determine the order and degree of this differential equation. No? So, what is the order of the differential equation? The order is 2 because ito ay the high, that this is the highest order derivative. Wala pang walang pakialam yung mga uh, tawag dito, yung mga root, no? Yung naka square root or naka cube root. Wala siyang pakialam. Basta ang usapan is what is the highest ordered derivative or differential coefficient na nakikita mo. Pag pag determine ng order, no? Madali lang 'yan. So, yun lang 'yon. Hanapin mo lang yung highest differential coefficient and that's it. Tapos na yung trabaho mo. Now, to find the degree, ito medyo critical tayo dito. Let's say, uh, may fraction kasi, no? So, we have here the dy over dx raised to 1 half, parehas lang yan, no? Ng square root, equal to uh, d square or second derivative of y with respect to x minus 5. Let's say, uh, raised to 1 third. 1 third is cube root, no? Okay, so, dito meron tayong fraction. Kanina, radical. Ngayon, meron tayong yung fraction. Convert na sa fraction. Now, ang sabi, to determine the uh, degree, kailangan daw free from radicals or fractions. So, ngayon, meron tayong fraction. So, paano natin gagawing whole number itong fraction na ito? Madali lang, no? Just get the LCM or the least common multiple of 2 and 3. And that is, what? Uh, 6, no? That is the least common multiple. So, if I'm going to... Uh, uh, Okay, distribute the 6 there. So we have here uh, 6 divided by 2, that's 3, di ba? Ah, so 3 times 1. So we have here 3. Yes. Now we have here uh, d square y over d x square or second derivative of y with respect to x minus 5 raised to 2. So as you can see, naging uh, naging full number na itong ating uh, exponent. Okay? So, in this case, the uh, degree, the degree is 2. Tama? So, we have here the degree is 2. Okay? So, the degree of this differential equation, degree is 2, ordered, order 2 then. No? So, we have order 2 and degree 2 differential equation. Because this is the highest differential coefficient, d square y over dx square, so the order is 2. The degree is, saan ba siya na erase? So, 2 din. Meron bang uh, radical or fractions? Wala na. So, natanggal na natin. So, ganun lang siya gawin. Okay? So, next uh, video. So, usapan natin ang uh, elimination of constants. Okay? Bye!